The team was met with a Memphis zone that took a little adjusting before the purple and gold were able to lock in and play some Lakers basketball. The first half of this match was marked by chronic turnovers from each opponent, both teams gave up 29 points off turnovers alone. With the Grizzlies' sharp shooting, the start of this game alluded that the Lakers could let this game slip away but the team transformed and took the third and fourth by storm. The storm could have gone by the name of Hurricane LeBron James, 28 PTS, 9 Reb, 8 Ast, or possibly, Nor'easter Anthony Davis, 35 PTS, 9 Reb, the duo combined for more than half the total points on the night. AD said of his court counterpart, he finds ways to get going throughout the game. LBJ charged through the lane, knocked down the turnaround jumpers, and completed the inconceivable pass to his teammates with ease. The Kings' ears were probably burning because there were MVP whispers after this game. Fittingly, AD spoke to the team's early challenges but ultimate success stating that the guys decided to weather the storm, play through it and stay together. Again, Memphis shooting was extremely accurate. The Lakers' success was on account of their defense and that performance had the Brow's name all over it. Davis dictated the fast break by locking in the defensive zone. And then he commanded the other side of the floor by making himself available in the key, and notching the most points, for both teams, on the night. Davis started 0 for 5 from the floor, but turned things around and went 16 for 27 for the night. Another impact this evening was from a guy by the name of Kyle Kuzma, 20 PTS, 10 Reb, coach Frank Vogel said of Kuz control postgame, there's a lot of ways to impact the night without scoring, and doing what he's doing on the glass is one of them. Kuz is a hustler. He's been instrumental to the Lake Show's edge this season. AD said of his teammate, his value for our team has grown even from the beginning of last year until now. Kuz has evolved into a player that not only expands the offensive end of the floor with his cuts to the basket but shrinks the defensive end with his prowess around the rim, and masterful rebounding skills under it. He spoke post-game about his contributions to the game this season saying that he prides himself on, coming out, playing hard and improving our defense I'm trying to become a great defender. The Lakers return to the floor on Sunday with a rematch against the Denver Nuggets, only this time on their floor. After defeating Denver just days ago, the guys agreed that when the buzzer sounds for Sunday's game, they've got to be hot from the start. Box score highlights running diary gallery.